Hey there, it's Julia from Crocoblock and welcome to our new video. And today we are going to discuss the Jet Menu plugin and its awesome hamburger menu widget. It's a brand new feature that allows you to add the mobile layout to your desktop as well. So I'd like to share with you guys the short outline. So in this video, we are going to see what is the handy menu structure, how to add and edit its elements, items, how to add the content to the menu. Spoiler, you can add any content you want. I'd like to briefly go over the main and styling settings as well. And we'll look at the general settings from the dashboard and in the Elementor page editor. So let's get it started. Guys, Hamburger Menu Widget is the coolest option when it comes to the functionality and style. Use it with Ajax on mobile view mode and on the desktop and tablet as well. And Croco recommends you to use it when you have too many items in your menu. And also, I would like to share with you guys uh, the proper menu structure. So the first goes header with the, for example, social icons. The next goes breadcrumbs. Next is the menu items itself. So the main content, yeah. And the last like framing is a footer. You can put anything there. For example, contacts or banners or etc. So I'd like to show you each and every element, how to add it and how to style it up a bit. Guys, so let's start from the templates, from the header and footer template. If you want to add contact info, map, banners, social media icons, and any other content that would be anyways in your menu, footer and header are perfect for this. So to find the templates, follow with me to the dashboard. Next is templates tab and save template. So let's open the footer template in the Elementor page builder and change it just a bit. For example, I'll add, I'll drag and drop the basic gallery widget just to show up some photos or images. You can use any widget you want. You can use gallery, you can use um, portfolio as well. So let's preview how the menu footer changed. Cool. Don't hesitate to use your imagination to make the essential content easily accessible for your visitor. Okay. Do you remember what is next? The next is the menu itself. So uh, let's have a look at what are the menu items included in my menu. To do this, follow to the WordPress dashboard, then appearance and click menu. All right. As you see, I have a menu that consists of the custom links only with these sub items, but you can add here, for example, you see here from the left, the pages, posts, custom links, categories, and you can add much more if you had more plugins. Let's add some categories, for example, the lifestyle, and I will add several sub items to this item to show you guys how to build this substructure. And I will choose racing, travel, cooking, and swimming. Okay, so let's move these items. You see, it is really easy as ABC. Just drag and drop it to the desired position. Okay, guys, let's proceed to the menu item content. To do this, you need to hover the needed item and you see the blue jet menu label appears. Click on it. Enable the mega submenu first if you haven't done this yet. Here, here, in the item icon tab, I'd like to apply a new icon to highlight it uh, in menu, I mean, to highlight this item. And let's change its color to the Croco one. Alrighty, let's add the beige as well. Guys, beige, it could be really tiny touch that works really greatly when you have many items and you want to emphasize, for example, some new items, some trending. For the shop, beige sale works perfectly. It really draws attention. Okay, now to add the content itself, click Edit Mega Menu Item Content. Here, as you can see, the Elementor page builder opens with all the available widgets in the panel you have. You are free to add any of them, really any. Um, it could be as Elementor, as Croco widget, customize the settings, play with the style, just take your time and enjoy this process. 
Guys, imagine that you've done all the manipulations from the back end. So you have the proper menu item structure. You have the fully set footer and template. So the next step you should do is to proceed to the Let's proceed together to the Elementor page builder, to your page, desired page where you want to put your menu. So let's find the hamburger menu widget, okay? Drag it and drop to the desired position on the page. In the options section, choose the menu you worked with previously. Then select the needed menu for mobile if you have. Let's click on our menu. You see, I have the menu without header and footer right now. And I'd like to add these really necessary elements. So the before item content here, yeah, you see it is before item content is our header. And the after item content is our footer that we just a bit edited before. So let's add them. Now let's decide on the left or the right container position. So right now it was right. Let's do it left. As you can see, we have here the breadcrumbs enabled already. So it really simplifies the navigation actually. Let's change the menu icon to draw more attention again. Yeah. Huge variety of the icons actually guys. And you can choose, you can pick anything. Okay show up the text of the toggle to highlight again the menu if you want to. I'll put it here some pretty silly dummy text. By the way, here you can toggle off the item icon. No need to go back to the dashboard to change it. The same way with the page, with the description and the divider. So you can toggle on and toggle off. Guys, and let's proceed to the style tab. You've been waiting for it for so long, so let's check it out. We have four tabs, toggle, container, items, and advanced. So in toggle, style and options, you can edit toggle itself. And if you enable toggle text, you can edit it as well. For example, I changed the color to the croco I have here. Okay, you can change the icon size and you can change the toggle color. All is pretty clear, all is pretty functional. So the next is the container styling options. Here you can style up the container icons, uh, the container breadcrumbs and container box itself. You can change it width. So what that what I need right now, I can do it a bit wider. And by the way, you can change the background to the image one. Guys, the next is the items tab. So here you can style up the size of the icon, its color, the position, the labels, pages, submenu button in different states, in normal, hover and active. Guys, if you start editing the uh, labels and pages in the Elementor page builder, these settings would be applied to all the pages and to the, all the icons that you have done here. But if you have, like me, some special page and special icon that I added from the backend to change the color, to change the typography, you should go back to the dashboard and edit this separately. Okay, so let's see on the advanced settings. So we have here the loader color and the cover color. Let's change them right now to the croco. Okay, guys, I hope I didn't confuse you with my styling uh, taste, but I hope that you now have the idea of what are the styling settings for our hamburger menu widget. To sum up, guys, you have to make the most of the hamburger menu widget. You can add any content to it to make it bright and juicy and let your visitors not to get lost in your web navigation. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it and give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our friendly Facebook community. May the Crocoblock power be with you. Papa, guys.